Hey guys, it's Sarah from Book Nerds and Fan Girls, and today we will be doing Legacies Season 2, Episode 11, entitled What Cupid Problem? Now, from what I know about this episode, of course, it's gonna be dealing with Cupid. There's gonna be like shenanigans, um, like lover obsession shit. I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't know what. Are we going to get more about our Lord Josie or Lizzie? Or are they just going to be in the back burner until next episode? We need to figure out how Kai plays into all this shit. Shit, I mean, I know they're stuck in his prison world right now. And that's a good way to, you know, uh, incorporate him into the season storyline. It just seems like a one-off thing that they could do to bring Kai back. But, you know... I'm kind of down for it, but let's see if this is just a filler episode. I've been hearing a lot of complaints that this is, like, just one of those filler episodes and it's not that great. Great because, spoiler alert, I did watch the season 12 promo already. Season 12. Episode 12 promo already because I was so excited to see how you know, the storyline was gonna work with Kai and stuff. So, um, I don't know. Let's go ahead and see if this puts us further in our storyline or what's gonna happen. So, without further ado, let's get started. Also, I'm tired, so that's a plus. Also, for the next, next Thursday, we have a double tree. Not only will I be doing Legacies, no, Katie King comes out next Thursday, too. So I'll be doing Katie Keen also. And if that works out, then I got two things to watch on Thursday. But I think from now on, my schedule will probably be, like, I'll watch Riverdale on... Well, I upload them on Thursdays. So Riverdale, I'll probably upload on Thursday. Legacies, I'll upload Friday. And then maybe, like, Katie Keen will be a little bit... Or later. Uh, I'll definitely upload Katie Keen on Saturday. So I think that's how this is gonna work. That way I don't strain myself and stay up too late. Late like I always do. It's just that these episodes take forever and a day to come out. So I don't want to be uh, upsetting my sleep balance just because of a TV show. Without well, further ado, uh, let's get into this episode because I'm intrigued to see how we're gonna end up from like point A to point B when it comes to inducting Kai into the next episode. And that's not a spoiler because I'm pretty sure from the title of the next episode y'all have already figured out what's gonna happen. Having and who's coming back so sorry not sorry I spoiled it but if you don't know by now well Kai Parker's coming back. If you know, as if we didn't already know that because they're trapped in the Ascendant that he's stuck in, but you know. Ugh, I don't know, I'm getting cranky. Let's go ahead and start this episode. So, before I talk about the first segment of the episode, I just really want to talk about uh, the f song they used at the beginning. That song has been kind of tainted for me. Uh, I don't know if y'all know this, I actually download TikTok. I know I'm obsessed with TikTok somewhat, so I can't listen to that song without thinking of TikTok. So I was just like, oh my god, this is a song that people have on TikTok, and that's how I know it from, and that's sad. Um, but without further ado, uh, our newest uh, villain is Cupid. Or someone that's acting like Cupid and making everyone fall in love with each other. Or obsession. Love. Obsession. Whichever one it's gonna be, there's always a twist that happens. Um, I don't know. We saw Josie and Lizzie a little bit in the beginning, but that was just like a flashback. So I'm thinking because of the flashback part of this, this that they're not gonna be in this episode. They're waiting for... To, for all the prison world stuff to be in the next episode, which I am so sad about because the last thing I want is to see Hope and the others. 
others. I don't know why, but every time like Lizzie and Josie aren't in an ep in episodes, I always find the episodes to be way more boring. I just like I just love the twins. The twins are like my favorite characters. But it doesn't mean that the episode won't be great. I just find the episodes that don't have to do with the twins to be filler episodes, and I am not partial to filler episodes, but if I could watch all of Riverdale's filler episodes, I could watch this one. This one, I just think if we only get so many Legacies episodes, I would really like to not have filler episodes. If we already have limited episodes, but I don't know, maybe some information will come out of this. I'm not sure. Who knows? But, uh, Alyssa, like, uh, Hope is trying to get Alyssa to tell her where the actual Ascendant is. Is she's got her locked up, and then Alyssa's all like, Why would I tell you? I don't deal with basic witches. And I'm just like, Well, Alyssa, that's a Michelson witch, and if you're not careful, that Michelson witch, witch could snap your back back into when you're doing that back then. This is whenever I feel like Hope should really be her father's daughter and take some of that evil that her father bestowed upon her and just like fuck with Alyssa because like, you know, a girl is just gonna be a bitch and uh, <laughs> not tell you shit. So, I don't know. Let's go ahead and uh, continue the episode because I'm interested, but not interested at the same time, so... Oh, also the necromancer is back. And he's... Like, pissed off that the magical hourglass is gone with, like, Lizzie and Josie and a lark. But, you know... Now it's with Kai, so that's even worse. I think I would rather the necromancer have it than Kai, but, you know... Oh no, let's go ahead and, uh, watch this episode. So Alyssa has a crush on MG, and I hate Alyssa, so I don't ship it. I don't like Alyssa. I mean, it's nice to see her on a setting besides, you know, bitchy McBitcherson, but you know, still, ugh, it's keep away from MG, and then of course MG likes Kim, and then Caleb saw like Alyssa kissing MG, and I'm just like, ugh, gross. Now he's gonna be like, I thought you liked my sister, but all you are is a player. And it's just like, no, you don't understand. I'm trying to get Alyssa to tell us where the Ascendant is so I can save the other love of my life. Life Elizabeth, well. MG likes Lizzie and blah blah blah, but you know. I, I think even Kim would be nice together, that's just me. Like, now MG's got like three girls, but like, no game. Like, uh, like. I know a lot of people like MG. Okay, I'm just not one of the people that like MG. I don't know what it is. It's just eh. <laughs> I just think he seems like he doesn't get enough screen time for me to actually care about him. And I think the Ripper storyline is pretty interesting. I wish they would keep on going about that one. But I'm not sure. I think him and Alyssa could have something together if she stopped being such a bitch and, you know, told him where the Ascendant was, and yada yada, I'm just like, ugh. I just like, I don't ship it at the moment. Then again, at first I didn't ship Sebastian and Lizzie together, so I think things change, but I don't know. We'll see about that. We'll see if the ship sticks, but I like him with Kim right now, and you know, I, I just don't like, like, I think Landon and Hope are cute together. But I feel like Landon will always feel inadequate towards Hope. Hope like he's never gonna be good enough for her and other stuff. And I'm just like, I would like to see like a relationship where both counterparts feel like they're good for each other. And there's like just this little bit of doubt, but not as much as Landon has when it comes to Hope. I get that. Hope is an extraordinary human being, and it's very hard to be her significant other. But, like, doesn't mean that Landon is chopped liver, either. I'm just like, ugh. I don't know. 
And then, you know, like, Cupid's all like, hey, does this, like, uh, force field have a, uh, barrier up there? And he's like, I take it as no, and he, like, crashes through the ceiling. And I think the funniest part is whenever, uh, Landon's all like, okay, I'm gonna try flying, and he doesn't get it, and I'm just like, oh god, okay, just, just run after him, or tell Hope, or something. Let's just, uh, let's continue the episode. Okay, so, I'm not sure how to feel about this episode. It just seems like a lot of filler. So, MG got Alyssa to agree to show him where the Ascendant was. Thank God. I'm not sure it was going to be up with that, but I don't trust her one bit. I never trust Alyssa. Alyssa's like one of my least favorite characters right now. Um... What else? Okay. And then they decided to track down Cupid. Cupid, and he was, like, eating people's hearts out and stuff like that. So, I don't know. I don't think he's really Cupid because Cupid can get destroyed by his arrows and that didn't happen. And then Hope's mad at Landon because Landon tried to play hero again. I think the scene that actually made me laugh the most was when the guys were like coming on in clutch with their little tiny scooters. That was hilarious. Uh, I don't know. This episode, while somewhat entertaining, it's kind of boring. But not every episode could be great, I guess, so... Let's go ahead and uh, continue. So it turns out that he's one of Cupid's seven brothers. Not sure which one yet, but we're gonna figure out. Uh, Alyssa uh, destroyed the- I wouldn't say destroy the Ascendant, but like broke the ascent Descendant on- Ascendant on purpose because MG wasn't into her and Blah, 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 because he was more into Kim instead, and he's, she's all like, I don't have friends, well maybe if you weren't such a bitch, you know, that would be totally different, but that's beside the point. Irrelevant. But, uh, <laughs> God, I don't know. Like, they're all like, oh my god, what happened? I hope they're like, oh my god, what happened? This is why I do everything myself. So, but I'm just all like, hope, if only you knew. How many different damn times that Ascendant has been broken in Season 6 of Vampire Diaries alone? You know, there are ways to repair that. So, uh, let's go ahead and, uh, repair that. I mean, we have mentions of, like, Caroline and Bonnie, and obviously Bonnie could tell you how to repair an Ascendant. I think she's done it before. Or at least someone has. I mean... It was one of the girls, like, get Elena on it, get Damon on it, get, like, Caroline or Bonnie on it, because, <laughs> like, like, you think Caroline is gonna let them stay in the prison world that Kai Parker is in? Like, that's her daughters. I'm surprised that Caroline is not coming down the there herself, and ripping Alyssa Chang limb from limb, because don't, you bet your ass that if K Candace King actually came to the show, she would be ripping Alyssa Chang a new asshole and she would not apolo be apologetic for it because those are her kids. And I, if she don't give a flying fuck what a lark's done, you do not mess up her daughters. And especially when it comes to people like Kai, who try to kill them when they were kids. But, that's beside the point, let's go ahead and uh, continue the episode. Uh, freaking Hope just got shot down by an arrow. I don't know what kind of arrow it is, but we shall see. Let's go ahead and uh, continue. Okay, so Landon just saved the day. So, technically the pro- Hey! I think I actually did figure out a part of the prophecy because Landon just became a new hero. And of course, like I said, something about Cupid and other stuff. Cupid must have like a golden arrow somewhere. And obviously, there's a lot of arrows there that could do harm to people. Like he just did harm to Hope. So. Like, oh, intrigued. 
intrigued. So is this like, is that golden arrow shit about Landon? Landon, because I feel like it's gonna be about Landon. I feel like that's gonna be the prophecy. Also, interesting enough, I saw that Legacy Season 2 is actually gonna have 20 episodes in it. So I feel like it going by a little bit slower is actually reasonable. I still got like nine episodes left, but I don't know. <clears throat> I just, like, I feel like this is a filler episode, but I don't know what's going to happen. So let's go ahead and uh, continue. I think it was very smart of Landon to be like using an arrow against, like, I forgot which brother he was. Petos, Petos, I do not know, <laughs> remember. I think that was interesting. I also like how uh, Kim saved MG from Alyssa because Alyssa was about to kill Kim and then it's all like, well if I can't have him, then I'm just gonna kill him so no one else can have him. And I'm like, Kim just grabs like this big old history book and chucks it at Alyssa's hand. <laughs> And I'm just like, finally, someone made that bitch shut the fuck up. Sheesh. But, uh, if some people might not know, uh, I don't really like Alyssa, but, you know, it's because she just, uh, entrapped the Soulsman twins in the prison world. So, I don't know. Let's go ahead and, uh, continue this episode. Also, like, you know, I feel like I'm not recapping this great enough. It's just that I'm really tired and this seems more like a filler episode than an actual episode so I'm not as invested in this one as some other people are but uh now let's go ahead and uh let's continue so while I can admit that this was a very cutesy uh, filler episode kind of like the Santa one it really doesn't do anything for the plot line, therefore it is a filler episode. Uh, I'm genuinely okay with filler episodes, but uh, this didn't really do a lot for the plot. All it did was like introduce some potential new ships, like intensify other ships, which is fine, you know. There's nothing wrong with, like, insinuating romance and other stuff along those lines. But you could tell when things are filler episodes. It's not like the originals. I think Julie Pleck has really lost her writing style, to be honest with you guys. Like, I love Julie Pleck. Okay, I love her universe's legacies. Is really... is a good show. But it has the potential to be really great, and I don't think she's hitting the mark of it. The thing is, uh, with Vampire Diaries, even with filler episodes, there was still some importance to it. There was still some intensity to it. And for this one, I just, I don't really feel the intensity of it. Like, it's cute. It's cutesy. It's a cute show, but I need it to pick up the speed, and I am... So, so, so glad that next week Kai is back because I've, I miss the Saltzman twins in this one, honestly. I always feel like the show isn't as strong whenever Josie and Lizzie and Alark aren't in it. Like, Hope is alright and Landon's alright, but I don't need a whole episode about why Landon feels like he's not good for Hope and Hope, you know, uh, Assuring him that, yeah, she loves him for multiple reasons. Like, I don't need that all the time. Time. So I really hope these 20 episodes aren't just packed of filler. I really hope that next episode jumpstarts, like, the climax to the storyline. Because we still got a lot of the prophecy to go. So, um... Let me see if I can get that prophecy, actually. Actually, because I'm, like, intrigued. Okay, so we got the prisoner, two prisoners, of course. So, like, of course one is Kai. That was always Kai. 
someone also pointed out that the other prisoner could be the necromancer because he doesn't really know Malivore, he doesn't really get Malivore, he isn't the master of his cage, but Kai is. And so it's gonna, like, the two prisoners in the prophecy are obviously Kai and the necromancer. And then the sins of the father are visited upon the daughters here and not here. Of course, that's the whole Josie, Alark, and... Lizzie's situation with Kai, like they're in the prison, they're stuck in the prison world because of what Alark did with all those other children. And then we got the new hero rises, can be, but can be fallen by the golden arrow. Obviously, we don't know what the golden arrow does. Pr the golden arrow is probably the only thing that out there that could kill the phoenix. So, I think that Landon is in deep shit, and uh, that he could poss potentially die in this season. I don't really know. No, but, oh no. A Wolf Amongst You has many faces. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's Raphael. I mean, they need to have him, like, do something this season. Season, because the only other werewolf that we know of is Judd, and, you know, whatever. Um, when time fractures, darkness overwhelms, of course. That's the hourglass and dark Josie. I feel like this prophecy is going to be uh, solved within the next episode. And the greatest order of all is love, which... I'm pretty sure it's a sacrifice of one of the characters. Like I said, there's still, like, <clears throat> nine more episodes of this season. So there's plenty of time for the rest of the prophecy to fall in place. It's just, you know, this prophecy is, like, obviously probably going to lead to the Salvatore school up in flames. Flames, something's going to happen there. I'm not sure. Sure, but uh, I would love to know your predictions down below. Um, especially when it comes to this golden arrow and what it actually does. Because I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued what's going to happen. No one's, Someone's not surviving this season. That's for sure. I feel like we're going to have a death this season. Like an actual death. death. Like they need to do something like heavy that really hits home for legacies, or else it's just going to be a cutesy show. And if we're trying to make it up to par with, like, the Vampire Diaries and the originals, then they really need to step up their game. And I'm not going to apologize for thinking that. It's just the way it is. But there you guys have it. That was my reaction to Legacies Season 2, Episode 11. I cannot wait for next episode when we deal with Kai and Lizzie and Josie and Alark. Alark, apparently, like, Kai is going to be dealing more of Josie in the next episode, which, you know, I would like to see an interaction between Kai and Lizzie as well, especially because, you know, everyone thinks that Lizzie is the unstable one out of both the twins, but I feel like Josie is like 10 times dangerous because while well, Lizzie has this uncontrollable nature to her, she's seeking help for it, and Josie has never really seeked help for her issues, and that could be more dangerous than anything whatsoever. But I don't know. What do you guys think? Comment down below and let me know what how you guys think the season's gonna go. I'm just not sure. One thing about Legacies is I'm, like, I'm always surprised about where they take the direction. It's always somewhere new. Honestly. So that's one thing it has. I haven't been able to guess a lot. I've been able to guess some of the prophecy and what it means, and I've been right <coughs> most of the time. But only because I know specific things. Things, but uh, I don't know. We'll see when it happens. Happens, and I guess I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!